I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I am unboxing something. It is probably the biggest and indeed the most expensive thing I've ever unboxed. So I'm a little bit nervous about it. It's so big that it's going to struggle to fit into the camera frame. So uh, yeah, I should have planned this better. But anyway, here we are. And what am I unboxing? Well, it is a Philips 7800 series TV. This is brand new. I think they've only been out for a month or so, and uh, I've got my hands on one. Now this is the 50 inch model, so it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest, but it's big enough to cause a bit of uh, fun when we're unboxing it. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, get it out of this packaging and hopefully set it up with you guys as well. So yeah, shall we uh, have a little look? Lift with the legs, not with the back. There we go. Now obviously it's a bit hard to see me and it's a bit hard to see the TV but look it is very much a TV. Yeah so it is the 7800 series it has got the Ambilight in it so if you don't know what Ambilight is basically it's Philips system and around the back of the TV are LEDs and basically they will create light behind the TV that matches the action on screen. So if you're watching football, for example, the LEDs around the screen will be all green and it just kind of spreads the light around and it will make the picture sort of draw you in a bit more. So basically there are some instructions on the top of the box on how you should uh, unbox it. First of all, we've got to take the stuff out of the top and then the stand feet are also at the top of the box. And then a bit of polystyrene has to come out of the top and then you slide it out. Now it does recommend you, you have two people to take it out of the box. There's just me. So um, I'm sure it will be fine. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this back down on the floor and... Uh, there we go, we can let the unboxing ceremony commence. Don't have my wicker man lights. Okay, right, are we ready? So I think what I'm gonna do is when I get it out onto the table, I'm gonna to have to put some blankets and towels down and maybe I'll bring the camera over here so you can have a little better look of what's going on. Let's just get the sellotape off the top and see what we're dealing with. Now the reason I've got a new TV is, um, well my old, well actually no, that's a lie. My not very old LG one has uh, had backlight failures on it. And basically the backlight sits behind the screen and lights it from behind. And on my LG TV, like about eight or so of the backlights have gone or are going. So the picture's got a blue kind of tint to it across the screen, which looks terrible. So um, I thought rather than try and repair it myself or wait for LG to get in touch, I thought if we get a replacement TV, then if I can get the LG one fixed in any way, shape or form, I can move that into the office where I work uh, because the TV in there is quite old and have a better TV in there. But I didn't want to send it away without having any TV at all. Ba -ba -ba -ba! So what have we got? Okay, so it says congratulations on your new Ambilight TV. And uh, basically it says that it's recommended that your TV is between uh, 10 to 20 centimeters away from the wall. So that's good, because I reckon it will be about that. So yeah, that should be okay. Now we've got, uh, what we've got here, we've got a quick start guide. This basically tells you uh, everything you need to do, what you need to get out of the box and everything like that. We've got the energy sticker. Do people really stick these on their tellies? I don't know. Do they? I don't know. I don't know. Right, we've got some batteries for the remote. We've got the aforementioned remote. It's okay, actually. It's got buttons for uh, Netflix, Freeview Play and Ratukin. And it's got a button to turn on and off the Ambilight. I don't tend to use the uh, remotes that come with them because I've got a Harmony remote set up. So, uh, ooh, I know, I love my Harmony remote. Right, okay, so here is foot number one. What is this? Oh, this is the power cable. Let's have a look at the power cable. So this is a UK plug because obviously we're in the UK and yeah, it's just a standard figure of eight cable. No weird connectors or anything like that. That is good. And then we've got the other foot here. 
So it doesn't stand very high off your TV unit at all. I'd say that's probably about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half. So uh, that might be interesting for my speaker setup as I've got a front vocal speaker. But anyway, we shall see. Ah, uh, this is the safety guide in a multitude of languages. There are a lot of languages here. But yeah, it, you don't really tend to get like um, actual manuals with TVs anymore. Okay, so this is obviously where we start getting to the nitty and indeed the gritty. So here we go. Bit of uh, polystyrene. Get rid of that. Now, it's I know this is like common sense, but it's really important to take the TVs out of the box how they tell you to, because A, it's the right thing to do and you don't want to cause any damage to the TV, and B, also, if you start just ripping out the box and destroying all the bits of polystyrene, if there are any issues and you need to return it, it's a lot harder to get it back into a broken box. This is going to be interesting, going to be very interesting indeed. But what I first need to do is just clear all the stuff off the table because, you know, it's going to lie on here and I need to get a blanket and a towel. Now what they have done to make things a little bit easier is there is a piece of cardboard that is on the uh, entire screen, so that's good. So that will help protect it as well. But I am just going to go full belt and braces and put a towel and also a blanket onto this table because it's an expensive telly. This TV uh, retails around about £540. So it's not the most expensive TV you'll see, but it's certainly not the cheapest and uh, I don't want to smash it, basically. So this TV retails around about £540, which isn't too bad at all. It's obviously not the most expensive TV you'll ever get, but it's certainly not the cheapest. So uh, I want to get this out as safely as possible. It's a big old boy. Our existing TV is actually 43 inches, so that's quite an upgrade. You know, seven inches is like about that big, isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Right, so we've got the, uh, I've got a blanket and a towel down. They are completely flat. Um, it's really important when you get a TV like this out that you do not put your fingers onto the screen. The screen is so delicate and so expensive. And uh, yeah, that that is a massive uh, fail if you do that. That's what I'm gonna do, isn't it? Now in theory, <laughs> it's time. There we go, it is out of the box. The beast is released. And uh, yeah, I can see all the LEDs around the back as well for the ambi light. That's pretty flipping cool. So we need to lie it down flat and get the feet screwed on. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. Right, so uh, this is one of the feet. Now they do have a special sort of key system that shows you which way round it should go and also They've got right and left markings, and there is an arrow to show you which way they should be facing. So the arrow should be facing out towards the screen. I'm gonna go and get a uh, cross-headed screwdriver and get this screwed in. So here we go, just tightening that up. It's best to just move from side to side as you uh, tighten. Don't tighten one really hard and then Try and do another one, just move from side to side, just giving an equal amount of pressure. I'd say just like a, just a hand tightness is absolutely fine. There we go, good. So just so you can see, this is the left foot for the left side, and this little arrow here tells you that it needs to face outwards towards the screen. And this key, corner is keyed here, so you can't put it in the wrong way, basically. And it's got these little guiding pins to help you stick it in not like that so once again just uh, get it screwed in nicely and evenly and remember don't go too tight just about hand tight there we go 
Actually, now's quite a good time to show you some of the connectors at the back of here. So we've got an optical digital layout, we have got a USB, we've got a network connector, we've got a satellite connector, we've got the regular TV antenna, and then we've got two HDMI sockets there, both with the audio return channel, which is very handy. And then we've got a couple more here. So we've got a headphone socket, a third HDMI, um, a service panel. Yeah, and there we've got the second USB connector, which I think must be a USB 3, because it's colored blue. And then we've got the CI socket. You want it to put in one of the card reader -y things. I've never actually seen one of those. Must, it might not be a thing that's common over here. And also at the back of the TV here, we have got a cable tie for cable management. And we've got the uh, Visa mountains, which I would say, about 200, is it might be a Visa 200? I'd say they're about 20 centimeters apart. Right, so now I need to pick the telly up and stand it on its own two feet. I think probably what's best to do is hold it at the top and bottom and pull it up. I tell you what, let's have a little peek at what's underneath. We can always put this bag back on. Ba-ba! Now that is lovely. So we've gone for the silver, silver bezel. It's not like a sort of highly polished aluminium. It's just a sort of standard silver color. And I think it looks really nice. And the bezel on it is super tiny, which is great. I can't wait to see the LEDs actually working that's going to be amazing i'm looking forward to that so i guess the next thing to do is to reset everything and um put this uh, puppy in place so i've got to uh, go over there and uh, do a little bit of sorting out because this is bigger than the telly we've got at the moment so uh, yeah join me in a second and i reckon it will probably be in place you don't want to see me bent over stretched out trying to waggle this in not like that. Do you know what? I thought about it and I was like, well, I could just show you it here. So we can go through the setup together and uh, hopefully you'll see it all. And uh, yeah, why not? I do apologize if you can hear any sort of noises outside, there are some workmen digging up the pavement. I've tried to minimize that sound as much as possible, but you know, it's hard. Right, okay. Not like that. So first up, we've got to uh, choose what language we have. We want English. There's a lot of languages there. And, uh, oh, to enable voice function, you must pair your remote control with the TV. Press the pair on the remote for three seconds to start. Absolutely. TV is waiting. There we go. Pairing with the remote control, that's cool. So this does have Alexa built in, which is going to be interesting to see. There we go, so we're paired now, and we're in the UK. And there we go, so we can uh, connect to a network. I usually have mine connected what, uh, through a wired ethernet connect, but just for streaming in 4K, it's a lot better to have it over a wired connection rather than a Wi-Fi one. But should we, uh, should we connect to a network? So let's connect to a wireless network. There we go, hopefully it should see our network. There we go, so it's connecting to the network now. This can take up to two minutes. Do not turn off the TV until this is complete. There we go, TV is successfully connected to the network. Okay, so we're not going to tune it because I have SkyQ and also I don't use the terrestrial TV aerial because it is bobbins. So we'll just continue. So it's uh, just got all the uh, terms of service. Yep, I'm reading all of those. Very important you read all those, yeah, all good. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, privacy policy and cookie information, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, read all that. It's all read, it's all read, it's fine. There we go. Weather information. Yes, I love a bit of weather. And we don't need parental controls. We've got them on the Sky Q anyway. Right, there we go. It's had an update, it's now finished. We can enjoy our television. Yes! Excellent. So, uh, shall we do a bit of Netflix? Do a bit of Netflix. There we go. 
There's Netflix. Ba -bum. Wow. Now the problem with uh, Netflix is um, it's, it plays stuff straight away. That picture is insane. And look, you can see the ambilight working as well. That is super cool. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. This is, uh, I put it in the shop mode. And so this is showing the demo now. Look at that. That is insane. This picture quality is brilliant. Wow. I know it's like a sort of shop mode, but that picture is just like, it's real. I am blown away. That is insane. That, make, that makes my LG that's like two years old just look like really old hats. That picture quality. Man, that is so cool. Right, let's go back to Netflix. But wow, look. I really... Oh, do you know what? It's got that thing on it that a lot of modern TVs have where it looks like it's been sped up. I think it's called like uh, motion something or other and it really gets on my wick. There we go, we're back to the demo now. But the Ambilight is working so well. This is interesting. This is good. Right, I think I need to get it off the, um, the shop mode. Okay. This is so cool. Never seen like this UI before. Amazing. Right, let's uh, turn it off shop mode. Oh look, it's Ambilight and Hue. Excellent. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh my God, that's going to be amazing because I've got like a Hue light at the back of the television. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited by this. As you could probably tell, right, let's turn it off shop mode. Um, off location, there we go, we want it at home. Awesome. Now there we go, so it needs some sources to install from, it says no channels installed. Actually, do you know what, I'm going to put, find a bit of uh, good 4K stuff on Netflix and just have a little look. Look at that, that is Dolby Vision as well, shall we put that on? Let's just play a little bit of this, because this is in Dolby Vision as well. And look, it comes up with the Dolby Vision logo, which is awesome. That is so vivid, the colours are great. Okay. Amazing. This is good, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So how do we install like other apps? Shall we just see if BBC iPlayer's there? Might have to download it maybe. No, there we go, it's there. Amazing. Okay, it's signed by BBC account. I'm not doing that. Okay, right, so obviously, I need to do some setting up here to get this sorted. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna get this moved and put back where it should be, and then hopefully I can show you in its final place and show you what it looks like and maybe see if I can get the Hue integration sorted. But we're off to a very good start. So you join me and Dougie on the sofa and uh, I just thought I'd show you how the TV is looking now it's all set up. It is amazing. I am so, so happy with you. It is really, really, really good. Honestly, I cannot tell you how happy I am with the quality of it. The Ambilight on it is just so cool. I really like that. And um, yeah, it's just, it just looks incredible. It really does. Um, I just downloaded a bit of this um, Malawi or wildlife rescue. And I, you, you can't, you can't just, you can't tell the picture quality through me recording the screen, unfortunately. But honestly, it's so good. I've also switched on the Xbox and had a little go with that. And it is really, really, really top notch. The only problem is so far with the TV is because it's quite low slung, like the centre speaker's not 
quite where I want it to be. I need to uh, have a little look at the positioning of the centre speaker. I did put some little foam furniture feet on the stand as well, just so when it's on the glass top of our TV unit, I just thought it just makes it slide a little more. So it is raised ever so slightly, but honestly, it is such a good TV and uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, so yeah, I've just got a few little sort of setups and tweaky bits to do, but generally it looks great and the Ambilight is just amazing. So I've just got to do like the geeky sort of picture quality settings and everything like that. Like the defaults are quite like, ah, burning the retinas, but um, yeah, once I've got that sorted, I'm going to be really happy. And I tell you what, the Ambilight is just so, so cool. Really, really smart. I like that a lot. And give this video a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs down if you like. I don't mind, honestly. It's okay. It's cool. It's all interaction, isn't it? So, yeah, I need to uh, tidy up the lounge a bit and uh, to get this video edited. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to... Uh, like and subscribe and me and Dougie will be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!